Hey, welcome. New video. Hey, we've, we're sitting in front of our uh, 03 Dodge Ram with the mighty V10 engine. Uh, this started out as a video. See how dark that brake fluid is? We're going to show you how to change your brake fluid to save your brakes. But here's what we're going to show you. We're going to show you how to do a water pump on the Dodge 03 V10 engine. Because when we inspected the brakes and we started to lube stuff up so we could get things loose, we found out our water pump's leaking. Let me show you what we saw. Well, when we came underneath, we saw everything had some kind of coating on it. Weren't really sure what it was. Uh, we rolled underneath, and we said, hey, what is this stuff? It's like oil, but it's sticky, all right? So it's kind of dirty. And we noticed we had a drip on the oil filter, and we thought, hmm, what's that? And we thought, well, maybe that's oil. But what we really found, if you look way up here, is you see it's... All right, so what did we find? We found right there... See that hole there? See that water coming out of there or the seepage? That's a water pump going bad. You can kind of really see it there. If you look real close, you can see it there. So, uh, got to do water pump. So some of the things we have to do, we got to loosen this and drain it. That's going to be easy. Uh, we're probably going to... All right, so we see that pipe there that comes up right there. See the pipe? See, it's got a hose clamp there, so we'll be able to take that loose when it's drained. Uh, you got another one there. I got another one way down there. First thing we got to do though is get that big nut down there loose. That one right there. So uh, we're going to work on that. Uh, once we get that broke loose, we will start draining our fluid. And we'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, we got a big wrench here. We're going to put this on here. Try to break this sucker loose. Doesn't look like we can get it that way. Easy. I try to hope that that breaks that loose. It looks like we did. Look at that. Broke that sucker loose, didn't we? So you can see this is loose now down here. Uh, you watch I put the wrench on there. You watch it turn. It's loose, all right? We did look on the pump to know what threat it was. So now next thing we got to do is get this open. Radiator cap. Woo! A little bit too much fluid there. Uh, it's full. So well, we got the the cap off. Uh, there's a radiator cap off. So let's uh, put our big wrench away and uh, let's go drain some fluid. So the, this is right here to open this. I don't know if we can turn it easy or not. Uh, I want to turn easy. We have to go put a little oil on that. Put a little oil on here. Got it going. I don't know if it's coming out yet. There we go. It's gonna take a while, but so we can do, we'll shut it off every now and then to put the bucket in the jugs. Uh, don't know if we want to take this fan shroud off. Uh, it's really a lot of work, so. Uh, how about we put this towel over the fan, put it between there and the uh, radiator, so we don't wreck the radiator with the fan. We'll take it off and we'll set it up in the shroud. Look in here and uh, there ain't a lot of space in there. To get in. Don't know how we're going to take that through there. Uh, don't know if we'll be able to get it out though through the top either. Cause there ain't a lot of room in here to get it out. So uh, looks like we can turn it loose uh, just by turning it, probably. But 
have to get our wrench to turn it. Uh, looks like anyhow. So we're going to uh, turn that with a wrench. Uh, there we go. All right. So I'm not sure we'll be able to let this out the bottom. Oh, look. Our best bet is to let it drop down into here, and that's why we put the towel. But we got the towel in there so we're not against the uh, water pump or anything. So now we can take the belt tension off, and get the belt out. Belt tension is right here. I just got to go get a wrench on it. Five eighths. Yeah, five eighths. You can see it's five eighths and. Uh, Gotta be careful how far we pull it down. Got it off. Don't know how far that's gonna come up. That's it right there. So there you go. Work on getting our belt off. We'll go hang our belt in the garage. Oh, that Yep, 14 is better. So 36 millimeter, 14 millimeter so far. Then you got to get pliers to take your hoses loose. Uh, all right, you see we got a pipe right here that has to come off a hose. Uh, we're going to try to get our, our uh, pliers on here. Yeah, and work that up there. That is well past the. Uh, that is now well past where this is hooked. Uh, it goes right there, so we'll be able to pull that off, I think. All right, so we changed the jug. You can hear it draining again. Uh, got about two gallons out so far, so we got to pull this up. Got a handy tool like this with a hook on it. Try to set that one in here and uh, work it around here. This kind of broke loose. See. Once we get it broke loose, we should be able to just pull it off. Um, that took a little more working. Uh, hard with the camera in the way here. Okay, it's loose. All right, so we got this one loose. Take that coming loose off of there. Hard to see. There, you can see it there. We're going to assume the water level is well below that with two gallons out. Although this hose might have water in it. Bring it up fast. Nope. It's all dry. So there you go. That hose is off. Now we got a an upper hose here. This one goes under the manifold, so she's. If we have problems with that one, it's going to be major teardown. We don't want a major teardown. So, got to get that one off. I won't be able to show you that on camera, but we'll get that off and pull it up. That one goes in this way. That probably doesn't go in too far. Uh, I don't know, can't tell. But I, I bet it only goes in a little bit to the manifold there. Okay, well the draining noise has stopped, so we're probably empty. Uh, We get a little when we do this. Uh, we put our big pan right below this. Uh, gotta get this hose clamp loose. Again, another one for the big pliers here. May have to get another bigger pair of pliers. Again, we bring it back part way and let it loose. All right, done with that pliers for a while. 
See if we can get that hose off. And that broke loose a little. All right, that hose is off. So now we gotta start taking the bolts loose for the water pump. Well, here's the new water pump. Looks just like the old water pump, except we gotta put that hose here. Gotta put that at the right angle, but we'll get the hose out, pump out with the hose. Okay, so underneath, we got two and we got three, we got four, five, and six and seven. So you can see we got seven bolts. Uh, so let's go get them out. Now, it's important to put these back where they come from because they're different lengths. So we're going to start out by breaking them loose. And then we'll go put them in the, uh, in, the, in the new water pump as we go. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to stop the video here. All right, we've worked all the bolts out. This water pump is hanging by that hose, which isn't really loose. So, uh, to be able to pull this out and down away from this hose, like that. Now the hard part's gonna be getting it out of here. I think we can bring it out this way. Yep, all right. So down, out, and around like that we're gonna take a measurement from here to here we're gonna measure that whatever that is has to stay that way all right so a nut and two washers now we got to get this thing apart let's put a wrench on here and take it loose so let's this one like this Funny is this ain't loose at all. Same kind of impeller, uh, looks like anyhow. We'll check that out later. Uh, we gotta get a uh, big adjustable wrench on here. All right, when you do these, you always wanna turn them like they're designed to be turned, like a wrench, where it's pressure. Oh, that was easy. Wow, that was real easy. That was easier than we thought it would be. That's a good deal. Take this out. Wasn't in very far. A lot of pipe uh, sealer on here. Wire brush, clean it up and uh, put it in the new one. Uh, the good news is it's got to go almost a whole turn, so that's cool. Uh, so we'll probably get it good and tight here. Yeah. Got to come around with it like somewhere over here. A little bit more. I think a little bit more. Not much though. Okay, I think about that. It's out. Put on my. I'm gonna put this just a itty bitty more. It's gotta be a little bit lower. That's probably a little bit too much, but maybe not. All right, so see what we got here on the table. Yeah, okay, we're off by about 30, 40 thou. We're not gonna back that thing off, all right? So we're good, we're gonna let this sit overnight now and uh, we'll put this thing in tomorrow. So uh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Don't miss these, okay? We're, we're gonna be epic here. We're gonna get this thing back in. So far, we're into this thing about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Uh, the big thing was 450 to have a shop do it. And uh, I spent $130 between the pump, a gallon of antifreeze and the sealer, so uh, I figure I'm going to make $100 an hour on this job easy on my own, saving money. So like and subscribe, post notifications on, don't miss the install. Hey, good morning. We're back out on the driveway. You can hear the birds singing in the background. I'm going to finish up this job, putting this water pump on. Uh, do remember, we are about an hour in right now, and it's starting to go back together as soon as we clean up the mountain surface. So let's take a look at that, and let's get cleaned. All right, don't know how well you can see that down in there. You can see that there's a lot of debris on this surface. Got to clean it up, so we got to use the uh, we're gonna use a razor blade.
getting as much of them shavings out as we can. All right. This has got an O-ring that goes in here. Problem is when we're putting this in, that O-ring can fall out. See how that fell out? So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit amount of sealer here so we can drop this in. And we'll put a little on here. Then we'll use a couple of the long bolts. And we're going to put a little of the sealer on the threads of the bolts too. So let's get this open and uh, get a little bit of sealer on our O-ring. All right, we're gonna have to drop it through here. We know how we brought it in. So we're gonna pull this pipe up here. I'm gonna bring the water pump underneath the pose, bring it up into position. And uh, we got two long bolts uh, ready. We're gonna push them in. Gotta get that uh, hose to go on too. Feels tight. Uh, we'll go a little more and call it done. Oh, it is tight. Okay, so we're tight there. Make sure this one's good. That one's good. And we got another one up here. Go back to see if this one's good. Maybe over here. Those are good. Let's get the hose clamps back on. We get the hose clamps back on. Uh, same pliers we used to take them off. All right, hose clamps are on. One of the tricky parts of this job is to get this fan back on. Remember, this is a uh, clockwise thread. Tightens as it runs, so you don't have to be super tight. But we're going to lift this up and hold it in place and spin this in. And looks like we got it started real easy. Now I'm going to go get the big wrench and hold it while I turn this. Get it as far as we can, then we'll put the belt on. And bring your tensioner down. As you bring your tensioner down, we're gonna slide this on. It's like that. So belt's on. The nice thing is now this is pretty tight. We're going to put our big wrench on there and tighten that thing up a little. Okay, you can see we're turning the whole motor over. Uh, hey. That's good. Let's get some water in her. Yeah, I've been saying put water in. It's antifreeze. I know that. We're going to put the, open this up. Go get our funnel. Oh, 
Oh, these don't fit. Does the funnel doesn't want to fit in my thing here? It's a different setup than this. Is for old school radiators, new school radiator, not so much good. Okay, we'll have to hold stuff. That's all right. Loosely put this over here. Go turn it over. All right, we're running. Everything seems good. There you go. Hey, we changed the water pump on our 03 Dodge 2500 V10 motor. Easy job. Look, I I didn't keep real close track of my time. I think I have about two and a half hours in it, not including going to the auto parts store and getting the water pump and that kind of stuff. Spent $130 at the auto parts store. Could have been $118 if I hadn't have bought the antifreeze that I did not use yet, just so we know. Very careful, didn't spill it. Had that big two by three pan where I caught the droppings. Uh, do this yourself because 450, 130. So that's uh, hey, $330 difference. Hey, took me less than three hours. Heck, I'm making a hundred and a half on my own driveway, fixing my own vehicle. I ain't making it, I'm saving. Save money, fix your own vehicle, like and subscribe. Don't miss the other videos. Thank you for watching.